Hi, my name is Bryn Miller and I'm a sophomore at Claremont McKenna College. I'm going to discuss Proposition 61, the drug pricing initiative on the ballot this November. The state of California purchases prescription drugs through programs that cover retired state employees, state prisoners, and Medi-Cal beneficiaries, among others. Since the state is a high volume purchaser, it is able to negotiate with drug companies for reduced prices. However, some say that the state still pays too much for these drugs. Proposition 61 would require the state, when buying drugs for people covered under certain state programs, to pay no more than the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs pays for these drugs. Supporters say that Prop 61 would help rein in out-of-control pharmaceutical prices and would limit how much drug companies can profit at the expense of patients and the state. They say Prop 61 should save California billions of dollars in prescription drug purchases and would put downward pressure on all drug prices. Prop 61 was put on the ballot and funded by the AIDS Healthcare Foundation. The California Nurses Association, AARP California, and the California Association of Urban Leagues have also endorsed the measure. Opponents say that Prop 61 would only aid a small portion of Californians covered under specific programs. The majority of Californians would end up paying more, since pharmaceutical companies could raise prices on their drugs to compensate. Opponents also say that Prop 61 could harm veterans if companies respond by raising prices on the drugs that they sell to the VA. Opponents include the California Medical Association, the California Republican Party, and various veterans groups. Major pharmaceutical companies such as Merck, Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer, Amgen, and AbbVie also oppose the measure. The financial stakes of Prop 61 are high, and the battle over the measure will be one of the most expensive this year. To recap, a yes vote on Prop 61 would require the state to purchase certain drugs at the same price as the VA, potentially reducing state costs depending on the response of pharmaceutical companies. A no vote would maintain status quo, under which California negotiates for drug prices independent of the VA. For more information on Prop 61, check out roseinstitute.org and the following sites.